Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I bring you a more laid back, relaxed type video. So I figured I'd do a flip through with you guys of this magazine. And this is ingredients for the good life, eating well. 52 quick and easy recipes. Enjoy all the winter veg. 10 ways to add more fiber to your day. And how to eat well and lose weight and proven tips to boost immunity. That's what's up. These appear to be all root vegetables, just about. Love beets. Oh. Of all veggies. Now, when I run into an interesting recipe or something that I like, I'll make a comment on it. Wait, eat more beets. <laughs> and I just finished saying, a favorite winter activity, skiing fresh snow ooh, on the Catamount Trail, a 300 plus mile Nordic ski trail running the length of Vermont. Wow. Uh, yeah. I haven't went skiing in years. Mm-hmm. It's been years. Oh, that looks so good. I see it's shrimp and some veggies. That looks really good. I think that's over here on this side, avocado. I'm not sure, let's see. Yep, it's avocado. Hello. <laughs> Divine. Your year, your way. Good life, fresh ideas for every day. Top banana. Meet the man who has dedicated his life to studying this tropical fruit and grows over. Oh, yeah. I remember in Puerto Rico, my great grandparents, they grew every root vegetable you could name. <laughs> and bananas and the palm tree, the coconuts. Mm -hmm. And there are several varieties. So, well, <laughs> I was going to say, this looks good right here. A cruise. Not the Mississippi River. If I were to go on a cruise, I think I'd want to make it on, on the islands. Hmm? Not Mississippi. Ten ways to get more fiber. Chia seeds. I like that. Avocados, artichokes, rye crisp reds. Cocoa powder, popcorn, beets, red lentils, raspberries, chickpeas, pears, mm. raspberries. They're one of the highest fiber fruits. And Nielsen likes to make them into a jam with chia seeds. That sounds so good. See, now, this article I will be reading. Yes. Although I know most of the stuff here already, but you, yeah, you never know what you're going to learn. I don't know everything. I mean, okay, I graduated high school, I have some college, but I don't know everything. It's good to read. I encourage reading. It keeps you on your toes, and it keeps you more alert. I think these are just ads. Wait, so butter is okay now? What the latest science says about saturated fats. <laughs> this I like. I love tea. Butter's good too. You know, 
like I'm trying to lose weight again because of depression yeah anyways okay I find comfort in food I do so and that's why I'm so heavy right now that's why I'm I fluctuate in weight it depends on my mood if I'm very depressed I'll be heavy I'm heavy most of the time anyways the big problem with BMI which is body mass index I'll be reading that article so, this one right here. what to know about immunity keeping your body's inner army strong can help guard against the common cold flu and COVID-19 here's what will and won't boost your immune system by Jessica Gala. True, your body's defenses weaken with age. Of course. Mostly true. Probiotics boost immune function. Mostly false. A mega dose of C can, can squash a cold. False. A little. No, excuse me. False. Sleep has little impact on immunity. That's another interesting one. I'm going to delve into sense of wellness. Expert tips for making sure you stay on pace to get the results you want from your workout. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. Beautiful peonies. So how are you guys all doing? Yeah, I just figured, you know, I like to do this. I flip through a magazine. And then I mark articles that I'll be reading later on. So I figure why not do it with you guys. I'm not going to read the articles right now. I do that at night. But I like to see what's up and check it out. Listen to the wind, the water, the asthma attack that doesn't happen. It's another thing I haven't done in years, kayaking. Some of you guys are probably thinking, <laughs> you grew up in the projects. How did you do all this stuff? I didn't always live in the projects. Truth be told, we moved into the projects when I was like seven. Yeah, seven years old. And but my family, no. Both my parents worked and yeah. Dinner tonight. Curry in a hurry. Tofu, cauliflower, and sweet potato. Green curry. Oh. That looks good, actually. It does look good. Hmm. Roast salmon with kumquat pineapple chutney. That looks so good. That looks nice. I love salmon. Salmon is high in fat also. Cheesy cauliflower and sweet potato chowder. Oh, that really doesn't sound good. It looks good also. I like these healthy meals, but when I'm depressed, I overdo it. Garlic, herb, roast pork, tenderloin with parsnip puree and kale. So that's the thing, I don't eat pork. Not for any specific reason, I just don't. Cashew chicken lettuce wraps. Wow. The wraps look really good. Yeah, but you know, I'd substitute the pork for chicken or turkey. Turkey chili calzones. That looks tasty also. Calzones. My son, Abe, may he rest in peace. Love calzones. Cornmeal crusted shrimp with corn and okra. Oh, that looks really delicious. Huh. <laughs> Feeling full already. Cheese steak salad. Again, I'd have to substitute that meat. So you can see that red, like it's bleeding, you know. I just know. Not for me. Not knocking it, it's just not for me. Chicken puttanesca. Oh my goodness. 
Yes. Chicken puttanesca. Lovely. Yeah, I don't... Mm -mm. Sweet tarts. Using pre-made phyllo cups makes this recipe simple. Look for them near phyllo dough in the freezer section of the grocery store. Mini vegan chocolate tarts. Looks good. Something fun to do with the kids. Root vegetable and green salad with red pepper jelly vinaigrette. Chile and garlic Hasselback squash. Ginger chicken and vegetable noodle soup. Mm. That sounds really appealing. Ginger chicken. With vegetables. You can never go wrong. Veggies. Black bean and butternut squash enchiladas. Not bad. And this is deconstructed crab ravioli with tarragon cream. It's a ravioli. If you see guys keep skimping over pages because it's ads. Love your heart. Overnight matcha oats with berries, avocado tuna spinach salad, chickpea pasta with mushrooms and kale, all this sounds very, very good. Just a minute. Baked feta spinach artichoke dip. With the right chips. Mm -hmm. Or veggies. You can dip your veggies. Yeah, these are ads. That's why I keep flipping through. Soup, herb dinners. Chicken tomato tortilla soup, saucy ginger tomato chicken, meatballs and spiced tomato sauce, tofu tomato curry, vegetarian chili. These right here. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, there we go. This one is Genius Granola Hacks. Sure, it's great on yogurt with fruit, but we've got other innovative ways to enjoy this breakfast classic. Freeze mini frozen parfait bars. Oh, okay. Oh, that looks so good. Looks very tasty. A Southern Chef's Recipe for Weight Loss by Holly Pebsner. Smothered chicken breast and onion gravy. Oh my goodness. Virginia Willis cooks and eats for a living and yet she managed to lose 65 pounds and counting during the pandemic. Here she shares her go-to dishes and tips for success. That's wonderful. And yeah, this is another article I will be reading. And yeah, she shares tips and a few recipes. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Gingery vegetable broth. Mmm. And the hydrate, yeah. You never drink it up the bar. Water's good. And if you get bored of water, like what I like to do is I'll squeeze a couple of lemons. In a water bottle, the water, and no sugar. I, I, I like it that way. Chicken stew with collard greens and peanuts. Take care of all of you and scale up. Be accountable, dial back the booze. Uh, eat the cake, small batch crispy chocolate chip cookies, smothered chicken breast and onion gravy. Oh, these are the recipes. 
sloths <laughs> are metabolic icebergs and may be able to occasionally shut down the hmm, entirely. It takes some days to digest their food while we burn through hours and hours. The science behind how your body burns calories and what does and doesn't speed up the process. Look how cute. <laughs> He's just hanging out. Let's see. <laughs> it's cute. Hummingbirds have metabolisms that are 77 times faster than ours due to their high activity level. They clock 60 to 80 wing beats per second, and they are beautiful. Yes, indeed. We dig salad. Yeah. Salads are good. Celeriac and lentil salad with poached eggs. Lemony shrimp, kale, and potato salad. There's a few. Little ideas there. Broccoli, onions, tomatoes, avocado, a lot of good stuff on that plate right there. Rutabaga, mm. carrots, not only good for you but healthy. Waldorf, Waldorf salad with chicken and rutabaga, that's what that is. And Southworth's chopped salad with tomatillo dressing. Okay. Sunshine in the jar. Lemon and fennel roast chicken. That looks nice. Yes. Mm. Fish tacos with preserved grapefruit salsa. Some salmon, avocado, a lot of good stuff there too. Cauliflower rigatoni with preserved orange. Oh. Preserved lime soda. I do something a little similar to that. Like I'll get lemons and limes and Squeeze them into a water bottle. My water. No sugar. No sugar. We envision this as a crop to support our small, diverse farms. Be saffron savvy. Saffron is good for you. I like it. Saffron brings radiant color and peppery aroma to any dish from cakes to stews. That's true. That's true. Saffron is really nice. Red lentil soup with saffron. It's a lot of things. Mm. All adds. The roots of good nutrition. So that was it. That was um eating well. If you guys want to see more magazine flip throughs, just let me know because I have. Hold on. I have Cosmopolitan, Women's Health, Cosmopolitan, and L. So, yeah, let me know if you'd like to see more of those flip-throughs. As for now, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, rate, hit the notification bell, and thank you for watching. Until next time, God willing, may you all continue to stay blessed, beautiful, and ciao.